In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can make money testing websites and applications and you can earn somewhere from the range of $10 to $60 per test depending on the length or the duration of that particular test. What is really required for you to become a website tester? Now, it is really simple. Most of these websites that offer uh, website testing and application testing just require you to speak your thoughts as you walk through a particular website or application. And the reason for this is that the person or the client that wants their website or application tested requires you to give your honest opinion about that particular application and how it works. So for example, I've worked on user testing. I've been paid to test websites on user testing. And one of the ways that you'll see this is that you get something called a screener. A screener is like a pre-qualification test for you to take that particular test. Sometimes they are instant tests that just uh, come for you to take the test, but you have to ensure that you read the instructions. But before you get there, the requirements as I've mentioned, uh, you need to speak your thoughts clearly. Number two, you need uh, maybe let's say a PC or a Mac computer or maybe a tablet depending on the test that you're going to be taking or a mobile phone, uh, iOS or Android because if you're going to be testing applications they're either going to be Android or iOS applications. So it is important when you fill out your profile to set the applications that you have, uh, the smartphones that you have so that when you see the test you'll, you'll use the specific phone for that particular test. You also need to have a good internet connection. The reason why you need a good internet connection is that you don't want your project stopping as you're recording because you'll need to record what is going on. Some of these tests and uh, for user testing, they, they record what is going on. And normally they always recommend that you do the test in a quiet place so that as you speak your thoughts, it doesn't matter if you're looking at this particular website, you should be saying what you're seeing. Do you think the C demo um, uh, icon should be here or the watch video? If you see anything that is out of place, you mention it and how you might potentially replace it so that it improves the user usability of that particular website. So what is being tested is how well can the application or the website be used by any person. Now, if it's an e-commerce website, can somebody check out once they put the item in the cart easily? If it's, let's say, uh, let's say you're doing like, uh, you want to collect people's emails. Is the sign up form coming up? Well, uh, is it uh, jumping on people's faces as they try to exit and people don't like it? So it's, you're looking at how usable is that particular website? If it is a flight booking or hotel booking website that you're looking at, you need to showcase how easy it is to book the number of rooms, if it's a hotel and all that. So it's really about you talking about what is going on. And uh, we can look at uh, what the tests look like. Now, this is uh, my account. And at the moment, there's one test. It actually just popped up as we were speaking. And uh, this is an iOS or Android smartphone test. And I'm going to blur the test number. There's another one that has come up. So use the user testing app to view and take this test. Uh, app, uh, and it tells you where to get the app and all that. So it also records what you're doing on your phone. You can also take uh, surveys and these help you to get into the particular uh, sample, testing sample. And some of the things that I'd uh, like to say is that be honest. It is very important that you don't accept a test that you're not qualified to do. For example, don't lie that you have a particular Windows version when you don't have it. So let's say I have Windows 7. I cannot take a test that requires me to use Windows 10. That is going to be lying and you might get your account uh, blocked. So do the test in an honest way. So what you do, and as I've said this now, I was just wanted, I just wanted to show you the test because when there's no test, there's usually somebody sitting down here with a clear indication that you should listen out for the ding that comes in to show you there's a test and you see there are two. 
but what you need to do is you need to sign up get paid to test so you're signing up as a tester to test websites and applications and uh, just to be clear is that this is not difficult because it only entails you speak your thoughts and you just be testing random websites in this particular thing so get paid to test and start testing and you can earn anywhere from ten dollars to sixty dollars depending on the length of a test so the the shortest i've done is about an eight minute test that uh, paid me ten dollars and if you test the website very well the clients will specifically send the tests for you to retest to see if they've improved on what you recommended so basically it is a good way and the the other websites just uh, it's not just user testing so some other websites include try my ui and uh, this is try my user interface so get paid to use websites and apps and give your honest feedback so I've, I've mentioned you need to give your honest feedback it's like saying are uh, you looking at this website what do you think can be changed what do you think can be improved we also have user feel and the good thing about this is that you don't need to be in a particular country now the reason why i'm saying you need you don't need to be in a particular country is that you can sign up from anywhere but some tests require you to be in a particular location let's say there are tests that are targeting europeans so you need to be in europe and specific countries in europe so you don't just accept tests just because you think you need to make that money you just accept the tests that are applicable to you we also have a uh, u-test and uh, as you can see from u-tests uh, please view a small a fraction of the available paid project opportunities you test has to offer and you can sign up today and fill out your tester profile to receive more project so potentially you can still sign up and you can see some of the projects that are going testers with adb experience some of these uh, seem like they are a little bit complex but if you can do this then it's a good way to make money from home testing websites and applications and it's really easy we can also check out uh, enroll and let's make the web a better place who wants to go and sign up uh, and purchase an item and then when you go to check out it's impossible to check out even the owner of that particular website or that particular product that you just purchased wants to make the process as seemingly as possible so that they can get your money as fast as possible before you change your mind so it's important to know some of these websites this is the enrollapp.com and uh, you just sign up you register and you enroll and see what real companies are working on right now and let them know what you think you'll be the first to get sneak peeks behind the screen so potentially these are usually website or applications that are almost being released and clients want to know in the real world how will this thing perform so before any application even applications uh, mo mobile applications websites even smartphones before they are released even uh, laptops and all that you always hear uh, guys or reviewers on youtube say this is an engineering sample potentially what happens is that they are given a first look of the product months in advance so that they can give their feedback on what they find useful what can be changed or upgraded and that is what you're doing in terms of user testing so basically this is just a walkthrough of how user testing looks like and how you can make money testing websites so if i go back to user testing i have two tests and if i wanted to take this particular test i'll need to use my mobile phone to actually take that particular test and uh, the one uh, a particular thing that you need to always be uh, sure about is that as you take the test it's something that you can do so let's say i decide to uh, check out what the test looks like i've put on my mobile phone and you can see the tests are available and let's say website test decline or accept so let's say i accept and before you start your test we have a quick three-step process set up your device to so uh, to show touches do a quick microphone check learn how to use the task button let's go back yes quit because i don't want to take that particular test it looks like you already accepted you must finish decline 
Mm. Uh, you can tell them uh, why you want to quit. Uh, let's say battery, battery low. So yes, quit because I just seen that test and this one seems to be direct that you can just accept the test instantly for you to start taking it. If I refresh this particular page, you'll see that that particular test that I was trying to take is going to be gone from this particular dashboard. So we only have one test at the moment and it's still that of this particular uh, smart, uh, smartphone testing and uh, it seems it's a direct test. So since this is a direct test and I'm doing a video, I won't do this particular test uh, because you know I need to speak out my thoughts. So basically that's how it looks. It's each test about $10 to $60 uh, which uh, work for 60 minute conversation moderated tests. So some tests require you to take screeners and a screener is a pre-qualification test. So for example, this test is a Mac or Windows computer test and our customers require specific participants for their tests. You'll need to answer some questions to verify you're a good match. Don't worry if you don't qualify. We have many more tests for you to try. Take screener. So whenever you're taking a screener, you provide honest answers. For example, this test requires you to answer the following question. Do you currently or have recently worked in any of the following industries? So if you've not worked in any of these industries, kindly answer correctly. So potentially I've not worked. So I'll just click none of the above and just click on continue. And once you do that, since I've not worked in any of those industries, you don't qualify for this test. Unfortunately, you do not qualify for this test. This should not mean that you are not qualified for any other test. It is just that the qualifications or the prequel, uh, the, 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 the pre-qualification test did not have what you're looking for. So you just go back to your dashboard and wait for the ding. So that's how a pre-qualification test looks like. And it's important to know that you should always answer as truthfully as you can. Other tests will keep popping up. There are times that there are almost four or five pages with tests for you to take screeners to and for. And for that matter, don't just take a test as I mentioned, just because the test is there. So that you avoid ruining your chances of staying on the platform and taking more tests and making more money. I think I'll stop this there and I hope that I've given you a simple breakdown of how you can start uh, making money testing websites and applications. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.